actually take a um, telegraph from back to Berkeley, and this would be right. 20th in that place, and you say we'll take all those protected barriers out, which is a bad idea. I do ride a lot with my children. We ride to different markets in the town. We ride to different things, so it's just like, is it safe? But I take some of my girlfriends out that has children, and we take a nice little ride through the city. I have a lot of friends that live down here that has children. So again, my main thing is the children. Specifically, like in the black and brown community, a lot of us aren't fortunate enough to have a wife. So, got a bike. <laughs> exactly. And he has a wife and, and child, and keep them safe and don't get rid of them. Like, yeah. make them even safer than they are, you know? I was safe. I mean, we're not the only ones. We're just speaking for everyone else. I, like I said, I know plenty of people, even some people here have children, you know, that want to take a ride. So, like, don't get rid of those bike lanes. Please. You know, that is, and then make them safer. Make, they want to spend any money on anything, like, fix the streets. The streets aren't even fixed for us to ride. At least give us the safe bike lane. I bike Oakland almost every day. It's about 15 miles round trip. It's a good, good ride for exercise and uh, for, er for errands. I've been biking Telegraph throughout this whole period when they've been modifying the bike lanes. You know, first it was just paint. And then last year they added the bollards and actually make a hobby of uh, looking at where cars park in the bike lane and how wide the bike lane is at that point. The, the standard people talk about for biking safety is 8 to 80, which means anyone from age 8 to age 80 should feel safe biking there. If Telegraph goes back to a plain old bike lane with just paint, uh, that is definitely not 8 to 80. I, I would not take anyone that I know who is not an absolute expert at biking. On a, on a buffered bike lane on Telegraph. The original plan to add concrete islands was good. We should just do that. I love to ride from here to Berkeley, which means I do ride down Telegraph. I ride there. I can ride with my children. I have two sons that bike ride, which is 10 and 16, and it's really, really safe for them to ride. I'm doing a job for my wife and daughter, building her a bike, and she wants to come ride with us too. Biking is my life. My car is at home, and I'm just on my bike. I've done already 35 miles. I did errands today, I grocery shop, recreational time. People just parking wherever the hell they want to park at. It's kind of a dangerous job too. Seeing the fact that you're in an actual bike lane, but people are double parked in there, and they got the doors wide open and loading stuff in. I don't think it's that safe. People still hit those barriers and hit bikers at the same time. Some of the roads are ragged and really, really rough to ride on, especially with me having children. I feel like we should have more smoother, safe bike lanes. We should be able to put like barriers around where people actually can't park in them. I take Telegraph to bike into work. It's very useful to have the bike lane and not worry about cars and be able to listen to music on my way to work. Hi, my name is Lily. I grew up in the Bay Area and I'm biking around the area since I don't have a car for a number of years. I bike for the obvious environmental reasons. Also, I just love biking, but it's an alternative to cars. If you get more people out biking, it reduces all the cars on the road. It's a good way to stay active and healthy. I've been hit by a car <laughs> when I was biking. It was on San Pablo, but I think not having bike lanes makes people not feel safe, not want to bike, not want to commute to the city. You should be investing money into people's safety. I'm not sure I understand why that they're changing something that separates bikes from the car traffic and it encourages people to want to go out biking. But if you don't have the divide, then cars can just zigzag in and out of lanes however they want, which I feel like they do when there isn't the, like, the clear divide between the two areas. There's so many other issues in West Oakland that we should be targeting and wanting to change other than taking a bike lane out. So I think that we can house more homeless. Even some homeless people bike to where they need to be. And I feel like they're no less than us. They should be just as safe. They should be able to get around this area. If they want to worry about anything about the bike lanes, I think they should make a safer one. So my idea was to put really heavy blockers, metal, with a spike on the end so then the car can stay over in there without taking a chance of busting the tire. I think Oakland should definitely put cement blockers in and I think that would 
definitely keep them safe. But don't take them out. Like this little bit, it helps a whole lot. Vote for it and do it. I mean, let's do it tomorrow. <laughs>